Hi everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and in this video I'm going to make a project life spread using the monthly kit from L Studio. This is the February 2022 kit and I'm also going to use a few of the add-ons in the paper pack. I'm going to use the cards for uh, some journaling and then I'm going to use the paper pack to mat a few of the papers and photos. I'm going to make a really simple title card. I love those little love label stickers so I'm going to use those to stamp my dates. And I also had the cardstock label stickers but I decided to use these to add a little bit more of color. And I cut that little flag which is a lawn fawn die with the warm car stock paper from L Studio and those are I believe it's 6 by 8.5 I'm also gonna use the numbers to write the week I thought that I had enough letters to write uh, the word week but I've been using this sticker sheet a lot so I don't have much left so I'm just gonna use the number 21 and then I'm gonna get this dated stamp which is an oldie but a goodie I love this stamp set it's also from L studio it's a little bit old and it, it ends in 2020 but I still have a bunch of things to finish and I can always skip the 2020 or use the single numbers to write the new year so I don't mind it. I also have the super cute rainbow sticker stickers that I've been hoarding for a while. Uh, I love them so much but that's the kind of thing that I'm like okay but I want to use them because they're really cute but I also want to keep them forever. And it's been a little hard to use them just because of that, but I decided that this was the layout where I was going to break them out. And I just did a little cluster in the middle of this journaling card from the monthly kit and kept going. And this week we receive a subscription box. It's It was like a free trial from Sagomini and it was really cute and I love that paper and the sticker so I decided to just keep it simple like that just to keep a little bit of the bag and the box also came with a little note and I don't want to glue down the note I want to be able to like pull it up and be able to see what the letter says and I'm gonna use more of that tissue paper to put that letter in there and I put a washi tape instead of gluing it down that way you can pull it up and read the whole thing I also have a few pieces very few I think I use almost the entire uh, all the die cuts from the monthly kit I have a few but that's one of my favorite things that I received and also those little word stickers they are so perfect i think i have like six left on the sheet after i did all the projects that i'm doing for them i also added a little star that came in the die pack and the little box came with a kit where you can turn any plushie into a robot and this little doggy is still at my daughter's room dressed like that even though a little boy came into her room and pulled a bunch of stuff out but it survived <laughs> and that little tag I made with the warm colors cardstock and the uh, metal die from this month and I loved it so much I also love that little heart I love the signature L Studio heart. And I'm gonna. Uh, I had to resist the urge to keep adding stuff, but I am gonna do a little cluster of embellishments in the corner. 
and I felt like I had a space right there that in my brain I needed to fill even though I really didn't need to. It was just like a compulsion sort of thing. And I love this photo because my daughter was putting it on. It goes a little bit of action. One of the photos that are not po, and that's always fun. I also love these little stickers. They are, I got them at Target and I, I've been using them a lot lately. And this uh, subscription box was kind of cool, but it was also a little bit, it was for younger kids and my daughter, like it, she thought it was really cute, but not something to reach out for often. So for now we'll stick with a machine box. And those little hearts that you've seen around, I made those with my Lawn Fawn heart dies and the warm colored cardstock. And these are some screenshots that I added in uh, in collages from Animal Crossing. This was a Bitmoji thing that her teacher asked for since that was after the pandemic started and they were not gonna meet and do a, a class script photo. Uh, he planned to do that. I don't think he ended up doing it. He did something different, but I did like how it came out. And she picked the shirt with the cat because my daughter loves cats and kind of looked like her too. And this is how I wrote my journaling. I used my typewriter. I just added that die cut which came in the pack and that life, life right now die cut has been hovering around my desk for a while so it's nice to finally use it I added another one of those little hearts and I love those I made a bunch to keep around you can see it in that little star dish that I got from Target and I'm gonna use the stamp set to stamp this heart and just add a little bit more of journaling next to one of the photos and before i use any new stamp i like to use a tumble mono eraser to prep it that way it stamps really well then i add a little ink and i wipe it off and i finally ink i always use a little cushion underneath that way it stamps better or at least it does in my brain <laughs> And I wanted to layer something too, so I'm gonna use this Love This Conversation Heart stamp. And at first I was thinking about stamping that heart on pink cardstock and um, adding it on top and cutting it with the metal die and then adding it on top, but I'm glad I didn't. I really like the result. I love those stickers, so I'm going to use them a few more times on this layout. And these are going to go to the little kit that I've been using for the past few months. The colors go with it, and they are so versatile. They work perfect with everything. And I added a little rainbow, another one. And I use the Tumbo Mono Aqua Liquid Glue because if I do spill out, if it's too much, it dries clear if you use the mono multi it tends to dry tacky and it could get stuck to surfaces but that's what i use the mono aqua and this was really simple i i just had a lot of photos and screenshots and all that so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and then come back on monday for another and the final project of me being a guest designer for L Studio. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having all an amazing day. Bye!